Hi and welcome back to the Preset channel. Here we are today with a video that you've all been asking for. How on earth do you get staff faces in Football Manager 24? Well please do like, subscribe and get notified and you'll find out of all the things that go on here at the Preset channel as well as Tro City and Lands End United. Yeah, there are other saves we're doing. But let's go and have a look how we do staff faces. Yes, so here we are in my Land's End save that I've got currently running over on FM24. It's fantastic stuff. Loads of videos all on it. But staff members, we go in, we have a look at our staff. We want to get somebody. We have a look at them. And oh my goodness me, this one's not too bad actually for a change. Let's have, let's have a look. Daniel May. Yeah, there's, there's got to be. Now, that's not right, is it? That's just not right. <laughs> if anyone looks like that, really, they got problems, haven't they? So what we're going to do today, we're going to show you how to change that into a real person. Now, if you've used the player face pack already, it's up there now because you're going to need it. Please do go and watch the video because all of the downloading and how to get all of the pack that we need and the new GAN manager, all of that sort of thing. I'm not going to explain it again. Get over there and pick that pack now. Watch the video, run through it, find out where you get all the downloads from, and then come back here again now. Right, good, you're back. So you've now downloaded the new GAN manager. Hopefully you've got the faces installed for your beautiful players. So all your new gens have now got lovely faces as well. Now we're going to show you how to get those faces for your staff members as well. Right, simple thing we need to do first of all, we need to go and download another pack. Oh yes indeed. So what we're going to do, we're going over to our friends at DF11. This time we're going to have the Juventus pack. It's only a little bit different. I don't want to um, dwell on it too long, but so you press the button, it comes up with a lovely pack. You're going to get these ones. The reason why I've done it this way is just so you can distinguish the different packs. You know, the other ones we've got the lovely colours, depending on which one you went for. If you went for Juventus, fair enough, go for the Milan ones or just something different to what is for your players so you can see the difference. So we downloaded our pack and here it is there now. So what we do, we double click on it, it'll then come up with a fantastic thing called Winra. Now this here. It's so easy to use. You press extract. It then comes up with a box to extract all of it out. You click OK. It then starts doing its business and it'll run and run and run. And then in your folder, you will see this. This is now in your downloads. Normally, I don't know why it does it. It just does. Double click because inside is another one. What you want to do then, right mouse button, cut. I normally do cut, it's just easier. Go over to your Football Manager folder, which is normally Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 24. You then want to go to Graphics. If you've already done the players, you would have created a Graphics folder. If you haven't already done it and you're just watching this afresh, go into Graphics. Now I've got tons of these blooming things in here. So I'm going into my new gen folder. I'm then going to right mouse button and I'm going to paste it into there. We've now got our lovely Juventus pack in there now. Right, so what we're going to do then, we're going to go over to our new GAN manager because what we're going to do, we're going to do part of it and then we're going to come back to it again in a minute. So now we're at our new GAN manager. Now, if you've already created a player thing, this is now completely separate. This is a separate thing altogether. So what you need to do, you need to create a new profile. I'm going to call this test two. You then press create. Now in the next folder down, click on the button and go to test two. So now we've got our test two there. Click on the three dots, go to your documents, go to your sports interactive, go to your football manager 24 graphics folder, 
go to the folder where we put our DF11 pack, click on the pack, but do not go any further than that. Get the blue line at the top, leave it where it is. Click OK. Do not go into any of the files because you'll end up ruining what you're doing. Click OK. Now what we need, we need our RTF file. That's the one. RTF. Every time, RFT, RTF. I think I get confused with it sometimes. So what we're going to do then, we're going to go into our game and we're going to go and create an RTF file. So we're going to click on staff. We're going to go to our staff search. Very important. Very important. Click on the coaching attributes or whatever it is you've got it set to at this current time. Go into custom. Import a view. Now this time, like I said, if you've done the players, it's all very similar. But this time you want to do the script faces for staff. Click on that. Click load. You'll then get it's been imported successfully. Fantastic news. Was not quite ready yet because a bit different to how the players one works, you've got an include button on the outside of the search. So here you want to include your staff, whichever team you are. Untick the rest. Don't tick any of them because the more you tick, the less you have in the number up here. So untick all of these, like so, leave the bottom one ticked. So your team is ticked. If I untick it, I knock off a ton of staff from my club. We don't want to do that. Then go to the new search at the top. Go to the cog in the bottom corner, manage filters. Then what you want to do is from this screen, do import. Now, if you put your filters in like you did from the previous video, like I said, it's up there now. If you haven't seen it already, please go there and do it. Load it in. Tick it. Say OK. Go back to the cog. It's down the bottom there now. Tick it again. Click OK. Now, the same as what we did with the players. It's important. You have to come out of this screen to get it to work properly. Go to training. Go back to staff. Go to staff search. Click one player. Control. A. Wait for a few seconds. They will then all populate in. Control P. That will bring up a screen in the middle for print. Please, please. Text file. It has to be the bottom option. Click OK. It will then say, do you wish to create save as? So what we're going to do, we're going to do test staff. I've already got one in here. It will say, do you want to overwrite? Don't worry about that. Normally, if it's the first time you're doing it, it will just save and that'll be that. So now what we want to do, we want to go back over to our NuGam manager. So now, in the next option for the RTF file, tick the three lines. It'll automatically bring you in to Football Manager 24. Come down, find test staff. There it is. Click on open. You're now ready to run. First time running it, has to be generate. Second time, preserve. Third time, preserve, and so on. So we're on generate. Now literally, blink and you will miss it. This just goes, look, see the green line? It just it literally, I've had so many people say, I'm not sure if I did it. Did somebody say anything and you went like that? You would, boom, gone. Right, back over to the game now. Now what you want to do, is click on the preset button. If you haven't got a preset button, I don't know what skin you're using because you are not using the best skin for Football Manager 24 and 23 and 22 and 21. It's been going for years. There is a small donation for the pro version, which is the one with all the bells and whistles. There's a base version, still got the preset button. You can use either or either, but please do use the preset skins. Just Oh, it's just great. Click on preferences. If you haven't ever used this before, please be, you know, you'll be an overview like this. I've just zoomed in so you can see it a little bit easier. Beside it, there will be a advanced button. Click on advanced. 
it will mainly be on most common. Click on most common, go to interface. Now, very important, as default, you will see skin. The top option as default will be ticked. Untick it. Tick the middle option. You'll see a little button appear down here saying reload skin. Press that. Your skin will then reload. It'll take a few minutes or seconds depending on how fast your computer is. Right, so here we are. We have now reloaded. Very important. Go back over to your preset button or your FM button. Click on preferences. The same ones again. What we just done. Untick the middle one now. Retick the top one. Click confirm. That's it. That's it. This will now save everything. You've just added a hell of a lot more data to your game. When you come to the reload your game, you go, you know, you go to work, go out with the kids, whatever it is. You come to load the game up again. My god, if you haven't ticked that button, it's gonna take ages to load through again. So Please do tick it. Now, who was it? Uh, Brownlee, wasn't it? Colin Brownlee. There he is. That's his face. Let's have a look at a couple others. What we got here now? Oh, yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Have we got anyone? Just everyone. Everyone and anyone. All got different faces. Let's go into our actual staff overview. Let's have a look at some of the people we got here. Absolutely fantastic. Obviously, one thing that it doesn't distinguish is females. So Helen Howard, yeah, unfortunately, there's only one way you can do that is to go and get some female faces and manually go in and change them. I've got a video. It's up there on how to manually change them. I've also got a load of female faces that you can use if you wish to do so. But unfortunately... This isn't that sophisticated, but everyone here now, he's actually a real person. So, hey ho, <laughs> we actually got a real one. I forgot we've got some real players here, or real staff. But um, that is it. If you've enjoyed it, please do like, subscribe and get notified. Please, I implore you. I get thousands of views on these videos. I am stuck at 2,000 subscribers. Get me up, please. Come on. If you've got this far into the video, you've watched it all through, please do like, subscribe, and get notified of all the uploads. And come and support some of my Let's Plays. Truro City. We are flying, but we're looking pretty good. See you next time out. Goodbye.